Number 43, integrated concepts. On its highest power setting, a microwave oven increases the temperature of 0.4 kilograms of spaghetti mm, by 45 degrees Celsius in 120 seconds. Letter A. What is the rate of power absorption by the spaghetti, uh, given that its specific heat is 3.76 times 10 to the third? Okay, so for letter A, we know this formula that the heat energy gained or lost is going to be equal to the mass multiplied by the specific heat multiplied by the change in temperature. So why don't we just find the amount of heat that it's going to take to take 0.4 kilograms of pasta, uh, multiplied by a specific heat of 3.76 times 10 to the third, and raise it by um, 45 degrees Celsius. Again, you don't need Kelvin in there because it's the temperature difference, and the difference in Celsius is the same as the difference in Kelvin. So 0.4 times then 3.76 times 10 to the third, multiplied by then 45. So we get about 67,680 joules. So this is the amount of joules it's going to take to raise the temperature of that spaghetti uh, by uh, 45 degrees Celsius. Okay. So it wants to now know what is the rate of uh, power absorption. Okay. So power. Right? Power, remember, is going to be energy per time. So that means that the energy we calculated here is going to be 67,680 divided then by the time over which it took right, to increase that pasta's uh, energy or increase and by therefore increasing the temperature. So divide that then by the 120. Right? So then this basically works out to be about 500. So what this is telling us is that 564 joules per second was basically given or... Uh, you know, donated, so to speak, to the pasta, all right? And remember, joules per second is the same thing as a watt, and that makes sense. So, well, I don't know if it does, but it makes sense to me. So, let it be. Find the average intensity, given that they absorbed over a circular area of 20 centimeters. Circular area, okay, 20 centimeters, and then diameter. Find the average intensity of the microwaves. Okay, so, yeah, so they are absorbed over a circular area. Okay, so uh, in order to find the intensity, we need to know the power, we need to know the area, right? So the intensity here is going to be the power, we just found it, 564. 564 watts is the power, right, of this microwave. Divided them by the area, they told you it's, of course, they told you the diameter, and of course they gave it to you in centimeters. So there's going to be pi multiplied by half of the diameter, 10, but you've got to convert that into uh, meters, so multiply it by 10 to the minus 2, don't forget to square it. So this would then be the, the intensity, right? So there's 564 divided by now pi times then 10 times 10 to the minus 2 squared. And we get an intensity here of about 1.7, eh, 1.80. 1.80 times 10 raised to the, what do we got? 3, 4, 4 watts per meter squared, okay? So that's B. C. Where's the, what is the peak electric field strength? So... Here's the formula. Intensity is going to be equal to speed of light multiplied by the permittivity of free space multiplied by the electric field strength max squared divided by 2. So if I want to find the electric field, right, we've already seen this plenty of times. I'm just going to solve it. And we're going to solve for that electric field, so that's going to be 2i all over c times the permittivity of free space. This is then the square root of then 2 times that intensity of 1.8 times 10 to the 4th and divided by speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8, multiplied then by the permittivity of free space, which is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. And if you do enough practice, this is kind of how quickly you should get at it. All right? So square root is 2 times then 1.8. Eh, why don't we use that exact answer? So 2 times then that exact answer, divided now by parentheses, 3 times 10 to the 8, multiplied by 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Close the parentheses, and we get a value here about uh, that the... Electric field is going to be three point, uh, I guess, three point six eight times ten to the third, right? Volts per meter. And then what's D? Oh, surprising, magnetic field, right? So the letter D now is going to be. I'm going to take the easy way that the electric field divided by the magnetic field is going to be equal to the speed of light. Magnetic field just simply, literally, do a cross multiplication. Take that electric field we just found of three point six eight times ten to the third divided by then 3 times 10 to the 8, and that's going to be your magnetic field, all right? And that's it, 1.23, 1.23 times 10 to the minus 5th, and that's in terms of Tesla. Guys, thanks for tuning in, all right? We're going quickly through these because, quite honestly, I don't know who's going to actually assign this stuff. Take care.